What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Crossroads Rebuild Classic Edition where we're back working on the 55 Chevy today. In the last episode, tried to get her running on her own, had mixed success, uh, ran into an issue with the fuel pump which in hindsight and reading some of your comments may not have been the issue I thought it was but nonetheless got a new fuel pump and I've actually already got it installed in the car. Um, now I'm going to say this right up front as I get to work on this car. The carburetor needs a rebuild. I have a rebuild kit, but I don't have time today to work on that, so it's not gonna happen in this video. But the car will be getting a rebuild. So I'm gonna actually uh, add a little bit of fuel to it, and I think now with this, um, uh, with this pump being replaced, I think we're gonna have good success. Now it is a cold day, uh, and so I've been running the heater while I've been working, but it is way too loud to run during these videos when I'm trying to talk to you, so. Um, I'm gonna have to probably do a little less talk in this video, a little bit more working. I'll narrate if I need to or catch you up after the fact. But nonetheless, that's where we're getting started is, I've already replaced the fuel pump. I'm gonna do a little bit of carb work, see if we can get some fuel flowing through this thing, see if we can get her running. And then if time permits and everything works out well, we'll switch to the back of the car and see if we can get the fuel tank in it as well. My goal for this video is to have the car running on its own with its own fuel pump and preferably would like to have the tank in it. Of course, you saw in the last video that um, it's starting to lose its exhaust under there. So we may look into trying to hack that off. I'm not sure if we'll mess with that today. So anyway, enough talking. I'm gonna put you guys back on the time lapse. I'm gonna turn that uh, heater back on so I don't freeze. And I'm gonna get back to work on the car and we'll catch up with you here in just a few minutes. Wish me luck. leaking out the bottom of the carb, but hopefully that doesn't bite us. All right. Choke open, pull that out of there. All right, let's see what happens. Fire in the hole. Nothing. Apparently I've got it wired up wrong. Give me this a second. Choke's not on in here. She's idling, but she does not like the throttle. There we go, a little slower. Woohoo! 
Wow, listen to her idol. All right, y'all, and just like that, she is running an island on her own. New battery, forgot to mention that earlier. New fuel pump, little fuel in the carb, and she is working just great running off the reserve tank. Did notice that we have a new little coolant leak. Not entirely surprising since the car's been sitting so long, and that's gonna be hard for you to see, but it appears to be coming from uh, either the bottom of the radiator over here or maybe this hose. I have a new hose, but wouldn't surprise me if uh, you know the radiator's gone bad after so long as well. But that's something we can deal with. For now, we got her running. I know, she still needs a carb rebuild, and we will, but she's running and she's idling just fine. Now, as you could hear while she was idling, tried to give it a little throttle. Not a big fan of throttle. If you're real ginger about it, she'll uh, throttle up. But um, so, needs a lot of work still. But she is running on her own, and that is huge progress. So that being said, it's still daylight, and I've got these lights here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that heater back on because I'm freezing. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Anyway, I'm sorry I'm being stupid now. But uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put the heater back on. And I'm going to see if I can jack up the back of this car. Maybe we go ahead and slide a tank in this thing today. Let's see what happens. All righty, guys. Got the rear end up on jack stands, and she's pretty sturdy. Um, so here's what we're dealing with. Got our fuel tank here. Not sure exactly where the leak is, but if I had to guess, it's somewhere up there on the front edge we'll figure all that out once it's out um, but i'm going to go ahead and put some penetrating fluid on these uh, strap bolts um, and hopefully get them out and uh, without too much trouble in fact let's go ahead and do that now so they can start soaking all right and i did not buy new straps so hopefully these will work okay um but we'll see anyway like we pointed out in the last video of course the tailpipe from the back already has all sorts of rot and then we noticed that it's hanging last time um also have a little bit of a leak there on the rear diff uh so we'll want to take care of that check all that before we try to be driving her uh but um have that soaking so while that's soaking um let me go ahead and take you around and show you what all we have to go back in the car Alrighty guys, I'm gonna leave that heater running. I hope that's not too loud for you, but it's cold in here uh, Anyway, here's what we've got for the fuel tank. Uh, of course, we've got the new fuel tank I've actually got it backwards because the uh, filler actually goes on the other side of the car over here uh, Where the filler neck is so this will uh, flip around uh, but new fuel tank and uh, it does have provision back here for uh, the sending unit and I've got a new sending unit here, so we'll know uh, what our fuel level is. And then, of course, all the kit uh, to install the uh, sending unit in the car. Um, the original, uh, well, both the fuel tank and the um, sending unit both came with uh, a set of install stuff. Um, a gasket, screws, all that kind of stuff. Um, I also bought better quality stuff, a cork gasket and um, reproduction original screws um, and I failed to realize that these are a special kind of screw. I don't know if you can see the screw head on there. I believe that's called a clutch head screw. Um, anyway, uh, these are supposedly a lot better quality uh, than a lot of this stuff that comes uh, with the kits. So this tank is going to go in for the purposes of getting the car running and all that, but more than likely this tank's coming back out anyway because we're going to take a lot of stuff off underneath this car to clean it, uh, to replace a whole lot of stuff. And so what I'm gonna do for now is I'm going to install uh, the new sending unit in the tank with uh, some of this hardware that came with this tank. And then when we take the tank back out to do our work underneath, uh, before it goes back in, we'll replace it with the better quality stuff. Um, so that's a mistake on my part. I'll get the proper screwdriver. Just didn't have it for those, uh, for those screws right now. Uh, but we'll do this for now and that'll be just fine. Uh, and should give us what we need uh, to make sure everything's working. I still have the old tank, uh, the, the strap bolts uh, soaking. Uh, been up there probably since the car was brand new. So hopefully we can get those off there without any problem. So we're gonna let them soak a little longer. I'm gonna go ahead and assemble uh, our tank here with the sending unit in the new tank 
and uh, so it'll be ready to rock and roll when we get the old tank out and we'll go from there. Alrighty guys, well, I'm gonna have to let that soak for a little while and probably bring a torch back with me because those bolts to let down those straps, they're not wanting to turn loose. Um, <clears throat> that's really the only thing holding me up at this point. I've got the sending unit installed in the new tank. Uh, I've taken a peek under there. Doesn't look like it's gonna be too much of a challenge to get the old stuff out. Uh, already uh, unattached the fuel, uh, fuel filler neck up uh, by the uh, filler tank door. Uh, so everything's ready to, to be dropped out of there if I can get those two bolts uh, to turn loose. So I've got them soaking. I'm going to let them soak overnight. Um, probably bring back a torch with me also just to be on the safe side. And uh, hopefully we'll get those things up out of there. Um, trying not to tear up the straps because uh, they're wanting to flex and bend right now. And I really wanted to reuse those. Ultimately, I can replace them but I need a way to hold this tank in there for the time being. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that soak overnight and we'll catch up with you tomorrow. And we're back, all right. Next day, actually two days later, and I am ready to try to finish getting this old tank out of the car. I brought a couple of tools with me, brought a torch, brought an impact, and hopefully between the two of those, we'll be able to get those stubborn bolts off uh, that hold the straps for the old tank in and be able to drop that thing out in preparation for getting our new tank in. So, that being said, let's just carry right on. I'm gonna move the camera over there and get right to work. Alrighty guys, quick update for you. I'm under here, underneath the car. Uh, no doubt in editing I cut out the last bit of my struggle because all you'd be seeing is my belly stuck up underneath this car. <laughs> anyway, uh, two things hold me up right now. Uh, of course, I've got the straps off. Hopefully you're able to see that in the video. Uh, now right up here, let's see, maybe easier to see from here. Uh, we have the fuel filler neck where it goes up uh, into the tank uh, right here. Um, it's in there pretty good. Now there's an O-ring that basically holds that in place. That's about it. But uh, that and friction. It's been in there a while and so it's kind of stiff. So I can move it a little bit. Struggling with that. I'm sure I'll get that hopefully soon. Uh, here in the back, I got the fuel line unhooked. Wasn't too big a deal. You can see that's up, up here. Uh, that wasn't too big a deal. Um, and the last thing up here that's holding us up might be a little hard for you to see here. I'll move the light. There we go, uh, is where uh, the fuel sending unit electronics uh, hook up to the back of the sending unit there. And that nut is just, uh, well, the nut's not spinning, it's just the post is spinning. So I may end up just cutting that off and uh, putting a new end on it when I reinstall. Uh, so there you go, the sending unit wiring and the, uh, the uh, fuel filler neck here. Otherwise, the tank's ready to pull out. Uh, it's just dropping all sorts of crap on me, which is, you know, fun. Um, also, I'm starting to get a sense that there might still be some fuel in here, which I didn't crack this open because I was told it had a major leak. Uh, we'll figure that out when I get it out of the car. 
Uh, of course, this this uh, exhaust pipe is not really connected to anything. It's also kind of messing with me and dropping rust in my face. So anyway, I, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off and uh, get these things taken care of. And then I'll catch up with you when I've got this tank out. See you in a few, hopefully. 2,000 years later. Well, folks, the tank's out. And that was so, so much more work than it should have been. That filler neck here just did not want to turn loose. And near as I can tell, everything here is original to the car. So this gasket that was holding all this in, wow, that is a rock solid gasket. Yeah, anyway, so that thing was uh, hanging on for dear life. Uh, what I ultimately ended up doing was uh, hitting it with some PB Blaster and uh, well, I wailed on the tank quite a bit. I didn't really want to do that, uh, but you know, eventually with enough wailing on it and twisting it and turning it and pushing on it, pulling on it, prodding on it, poking at it, it did eventually fall off of there and I am so grateful for that. Uh, so that being said, um, we're almost there to put the new one in. I do need to go put a new end on the sending unit wire uh, because that ended up pulling off before I ever got a chance to uh, take it off. And then, um, yeah, we're just about ready to slap the new one in there, which hopefully goes a lot easier. Oh, also I pulled that uh, section of pipe out, that uh, section of tailpipe out. That was in the way. So got rid of that. I came out relatively easily. This is some work. I don't even want to admit how long it's been <laughs> that I've been working on this. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fix that wire and get our other tank prepped. Oh, by the way, one other thing. There is still fuel in here and it absolutely reeks. So I don't know how old that fuel is. I also don't know why they thought it was leaking or maybe it has a small leak or something. It is un It was undercoated, so it's probably really, really rusty inside there. Uh, and that whatever fuel is left is absolutely disgusting. But uh, anyway, we can maybe examine the tank a little further at another time, but for now, I'm just happy to have it out and I'm ready to go ahead and put the new tank in. So let me fix that and I'll be back with you momentarily. Well, the fuel tank is in. <laughs> and I won't say that it didn't try to whoop me, but I won. <laughs> uh, as you can see, I, you know, my light was dying there at the end, so I apologize, it's a little bit dark. But as you can see in these little clips, um, the tank is up there. I've got everything hooked up. Uh, fuel lines, sending unit, straps, are, you know, all that stuff's up in there. Um, now, as I mentioned, I think earlier in the video, all of this stuff's gonna have to come back out at some point so I can clean up, work on other things. Um, so I'm not worried about the fact that uh, I'm gonna need to replace that fuel neck. Um, it's kind of beat up uh, at this point um, from the war we just had. <laughs> uh, so I think I'm gonna probably replace that. Um, some new hardware under there, all that stuff. Anyway, all that being said, um, it's in there for now. It's in there well enough 
to go ahead and put some fuel in it and try running it. That being said, your boy forgot to have fuel. I mean, I've got that little bit of fuel left from when we were trying to get it started, but that's like a half gallon or something like that. And uh, I like to put several gallons in it so that um, there's enough in there for uh, the fuel pump to suck it up and for it to run on its own. So we'll just have to stay tuned for that in an upcoming video. Uh, like I said before, we got other things to do as far as uh, the work on the fuel system and engine and all that in this car, um, rebuilding the carb, uh, cleaning all sorts of things up, so on and so forth. But, but for now, I'm going to say that even though it wasn't without a battle, we have won several victories. We got the old 55 running and idling on her own with her own fuel pump. Uh, even with the carb having not been rebuilt, uh, she is idling on her own and sounds really, really good. We also have the new fuel tank and sending unit and all of that stuff installed. So we are ready to rock and roll to move forward with the next stages of this uh, restoration. Anyway, if all goes according to plan, this video should come out a couple days uh, before Christmas, thereabouts, uh, right around then. So I hope that you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and that you're getting to sit, uh, spend some time with some family, some friends, wherever you are, uh, that you're safe. I'm getting ready to head out of town and visit my own family for Christmas, um, so I won't be working on the car here for a little while. Uh, but I hope that this video gives you something to enjoy during some time off, maybe during the holiday season. And uh, guys, stay tuned for next episode coming out. Uh, we've got a lot more work to do on this car as we go through system after system. Uh, we're, we're right now we're working on the fuel system, but we'll move on to other things coming soon as well. I've got in the back of my truck, which is right behind my camera, uh, an entire brake system for uh, this car, which we will talk about in some time coming up. I've also got other projects uh, coming up as well. So stay tuned for all that. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you are as well. Thank you guys so much for joining me for another episode of Crossroads Rebuild Classic Edition, and I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We'll see you in the next episode.